But today I'm going to show you how you can vacuum a mini split system here. And it, it may sound scary, but it's actually a really simple job you can do as long as you know what you're doing. I'm going to show you step by step here. That way you can do your own vacuum system. Now the first thing you gotta do is get a vacuum pump, and I just got the cheapest one on Amazon that had the best reviews, and I'll put a link in the description, that way you don't have to do all the research. Now first thing you're gonna do is take off these protective caps here. This is where you actually hook up. There's a blue, a yellow, and a red hose. You're only gonna need the blue and the yellow. Don't worry about the red for this application, just these two. You're gonna take the blue hose and attach it onto that cap you just took off, and this will allow you to vacuum in. And then you'll take that other hose, which will be the yellow hose, and actually hook it up to the machine here. There's only one spot to put it, so you really can't mess it up. So you have your yellow hose hooked up in the middle, your blue hose going all the way to the actual unit where you're gonna vacuum out the system. All you gotta do is just turn it on and wait for about 20 minutes, and you should have a negative reading here on the gauge, just like this. Come back 20 minutes later, turn this blue valve off first. That's important. Turn the blue valve off first, then turn off your pump, and just wait for 20 minutes to make sure that you do not have a drop in pressure. Now, after 20 minutes, if you don't have any drop in pressure, take these other protective caps off the front, get your Allen wrench, and just slowly open it while everything's still hooked up, and that'll allow you to get your Freon in there. That's a very important step. This is called a de minimis release. It needs to be done so no air goes back into the system. After that, you put your caps back on, and you are good to go, and you have a charge system, and there should be no issues after this. Now I'll come back out and put on the caps over the lines, but that's pretty much it, and installing a mini-split system.